Good day. Welcome back to Flight Dreams. You can see for today we're in the Cessna 152. And it's actually the JP Logistics mod that we're using. Really love this plane. They've done a great job with this modification. Overcast today. It looks around 3,300 feet. But we're going to be flying much lower than that. And let's see uh, where we are. We're going to be flying from St. Augustine up here down to Daytona Beach. This is part of the $100 hamburger flight series with the home base of Daytona Beach. We had a great burger here in St. Augustine, and now it's time to fly back down to Daytona Beach. Uh, we're going to fly along the coast. Here, the magenta line is the... Uh, run line as the crow flies but we're going to come out here and fly right down the beach have a great look at the uh, homes the beach the hotels etc so let's move uh, this map from sky vector over down and hop in the plane here we go we'll close uh, Saunders door, the co-pilot, and we'll just close my door for a, a minute here, and I like to get the yokes away for now while we're going through everything, getting it all started. So the pre-fight, the trim, make sure that it's uh, full, great, full and clear, bring it back to takeoff, excellent, uh, controls. Let's see if I put the yoke back here. Rudders, elevator, aileron, everything free and correct. Let's take that uh, off. Electrical equipment, off. Magnetos, off. Master switch, on. Beacon, on. Fuel quantity. Full, that's great. Fuel shutoff valve on. Flaps down. Let's see out the window here, they're down. And then master switch off. Open my door. I'm going to go do the walk around. So we have a look here. Tie downs are off. Aileron and wing looks great. Back here, the elevator looks fantastic. We have a marshal here for us. Oh, went a little bit too far there. Uh, this side wing looks great. Trailing edge, leading edge, prop looks wonderful. And leading edge and trailing edge. So the left wing, great. Well, we can get back in. Let's just put this here and hop back in, close the door, and we'll get prepped. Brakes are set. Circuit breakers all in. I got electrical equipment off. I guess get the beacon on for now. Um, lights as required. Fuel shutoff valve is on, and we'll start up, and then we'll get the uh, navigation information in. Master switch and alt on. Prime three times. Carp heat is cold. Throttle crack about a half inch. Mixture. Full rich. Okay, clear prop. And we'll bring the RPMs back down to about a thousand. There we go. Oil pressure. Should be up a little bit, but it never comes up the way it should, I believe. Uh, not being a real-world pilot, it should be in the green. 
it's fine for flight sim. Flaps, retract. You can visually see that they are retracted. Avionics on. So let's get all of these cranked up. There, avionics on. That's it for now. Oh. Super. See if we can get, make sure our co pilot is not ready to talk. That's great. Want to get the ATIS for St. Augustine. We should be flying out on runway 31. Here's where we are here, where the winds are, 119.625. St. Augustine Airport Information Yankee, 1400.00. Excellent. So we'll probably tax out, out here Foxtrot Bravo. Hopefully the uh, the game has the same taxiway identification. We'll see. So it's okay because we're flying at, uh, I, I think I mentioned, very low today. I'm going to be flying at about 500 to 1,000 feet. So let's pull up uh, the tower. Ground, and we are going to want to depart to the south. Saint Augustine ground, Cessna Charlie, Sierra Golf Mike Mike with Yankee request taxi for takeoff departure to the south. Cessna Charlie, Sierra Golf Mike Mike taxi to in hold short of runway three one via taxiway Charlie Alpha Juliet. Contact tower on one two seven decimal six two five when ready. Taxiing hold short runway tree one via taxiway Charlie Alpha Juliet Cessna Golf Mike Mike. <laughs> well, that certainly isn't exactly how the real world is using Navigraph charts here. We'll go along Foxtrot, turn right on Bravo down to Bravo 6. Okay, we've got our clearance there. Let's. Uh, Set this altimeter 3045. About there. You can see how that's uh, about right for uh, sea level. Just above sea level, that's great. Okay, look left and right. I think we're clear. Break off and we can taxi. Let's here put the nav on. Taxi lights on. Only five degrees today. I'm going to put that pedo heat on. I often like flying, yeah. We won't put the panel lights on yet.
very quick plane to uh, get started and go. Five degrees, we're going to pull that cabin heat uh, about there. Some cabin heat on. It's a little dark just from the clouds. I like to have that panel on just a little bit. That on those lights looking good. Just monitoring all the instruments. Pressure's still a little low, but I think we're okay. Again, it's flight sim, not real world. I am not a real world pilot. I don't know why these trees are showing up so weird, but they are. So we will take off on 31 and we'll turn left, go back towards the ocean, and then follow the beach all the way down. We'll have the ocean on our left and the land on our right. Depending where we are, we'll have you actually get here you get land intercoastal and then land when i say intercoastal it's the intercoastal waterway for those of you who aren't familiar with florida or the east coast of florida all clear let's get our co-pilot to work handling all traffic communication atc Transponder on standby. Don't anticipate using um, autopilot today, but we might have to look around. I'm just going to do the run up here. Make sure nobody behind us. So that's uh, parking brake on. 1700. Mixture is rich. 1700 on the RPM. And bring the main needle to left. Fine, back to both. Right, it's about the same as it was. Both left and right are fine. Back up to both. Carb heat on. Suction gauge is fine. Oil pressure low. And temp is okay. Meter is okay. Throttle idle. Carb heat off. Throttle back up to 1,000. That's, we're okay. Everything looks good on the run up. So I was saying we probably we might use um, autopilot if I have to look up on the charts too much, but I don't think we're going to. to the left. One more check. That's great. Super. We're all clear to be out here. We'll just line up and then gently push that throttle forward.
337 at uh, 17. Strong wind coming in from about 1 o'clock. 5, rotate. Hmm, a couple of lags there. Uh, as I mentioned, we're not going too high today. We'll go about a thousand feet coming out of here. Let's uh, pull the throttle back. I don't want to redline it. Maybe it won't even go to a thousand. Pull the throttle back a little bit more. Okay, we shall. St. Augustine Tower, Cessna Charlie. Sierra Golf Mike Mike, continue for south departure. Level off here at about 500. I'm going to pull the throttle back to about 2300 RPM. Make this nice gentle turn. It is a little bit. It is a little bit bumpy up here. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see them, whoever they are. There they are. Over here. Another general aviation aircraft. It is bumpy today. Pull the throttle back to 2300. And I'm going to leave my lights on. We are. I need to do that for safety. Do it below 10,000. We don't have to have them on, but I keep them on for safety. So right now, just trimming out. Nose up. Cirrus. Well, estuary here, heading down into the ocean eventually. I'm not sure how well the uh, residents are going to like us flying this low today, but. What we're going to do, make sure I go up a bit here, but this low you really get a good look at the scenery, which is one of the areas where Flight Sim 2020 really shines. What we're going to do today is is fly south and then we are going to pick up the Ormond Beach VOR we get beside the Ormond Beach VOR we're going to pop up to 1500 feet uh, make a left turn to some degree out over the ocean to capture the ILS going into Daytona Beach and right now it looks like the wind will give us runway 25 right
Hmm. Co-pilot, you're supposed to be on the ball here. St. Augustine Tower, Cessna Charlie. Sierra Golf, mic, mic, frequency change. Well, every once in a while, it does this, and I have to do it. Cessna Charlie. Sierra Golf, Mike Mike is type Cessna 1526 miles southeast of St. Augustine, 500 feet. Request, flight following. Cessna Charlie, Sierra Golf, Mike, Mike Jacksonville approach. Squawk, 1721. One seven two one. Squawk, 1721 Cessna, Golf, Mike Mike. See here, we have a pier here. It's part of the Unicoastal here. We'll be going closer together as we head further south. The pier doesn't look that great. <laughs> I'm going to just move out over the ocean a bit so that we don't uh, upset too many people with how low we're flying. May actually ascend a bit. We'll see. So I do want to find the Ormon in the, what's oh, not NVV, it's a VOR. And I know that that frequency is 1126, so let's put that in now. One one two six. Switch it to the active. It will show up here when it does become active. And let's get nav two to give us a signal. Let's pull up the charts here. Let's get this all set. I could have done it earlier. 1126, 1097. 109. 7 is the ILS. Into the active, 250 is the heading. Out there, that's great. Uh, put that one on too. As we hear the indicator there. We have picked up the Armand. Turn that one off. Armand Beach VOR. 132.875 for the ATIS. In Daytona Beach. So we don't have to. 132.875. And we'll wait to activate that. No need to put that on now. Jacksonville departure generic November 6519 or November is passing 600 feet, climbing 10,000 feet. Generic November 6519 or November Jacksonville departure altimeter tree zero decimal four four continue as planned. You see here a uh, Ormond Beach VOR will be there up just over 18 and a half minutes. We got 30 miles to go to it, and then we have a little bit down the beach to go to Daytona. So I want to set this. Let's have a look. See how the intercoastal is now coming closer. Another pier here. Not many homes in this area. Maybe I'm wrong. If you couldn't see it. Not many hotels, that's for sure. So when we pass Ormond Beach, well, we want to head out here. Let's just see, we're going to be at 1,500 feet. Dyack intersection is 1,600, so we want to be at 1,500 out there. So let's go 97 degrees. So we'll come out here over the ocean, turn south, catch the ILS in, so 
I'm going to tune to 97 degrees in now. Wrong one. <laughs> that was 250. Yeah, it's this VOR. We want it 97 degrees. Out there. We will turn the lights off. No point in burning them out. We're fine today. Um, don't need to have them on. Now I'll just bring the heading bug to where we're going in case we do need to put on the autopilot. I don't see that we will inlet here. Come in from the Atlantic. Let's just see here if there's any down in here. A couple of towers we may be able to pick up, but not one here. Not many on the way down that we'll be able to see. This one at Flagler Beach. We'll see. And if you're flying in FS 2020 and can't see these towers, uh, go to flightsim.to and search for Love VFR. There's uh, two regions already, Americas and Europe. I think that includes Africa, Europe also. <clears throat> Download them, put them in your community folder, and it's amazing how it makes VFR flying so much more enjoyable to see the towers. Uh, regardless of what kind of towers they are, come to life. Smokestacks will come to life. And you can use them uh, certainly for dead reckoning navigation. Let's just see where we are. We're just above Palm Coast. climb a little bit, that's okay. Let's see what the temperature is up here. Oh, it's not bad. 48. I'm at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 centigrade. It's when you put the pedo heat on. We're close enough. I know we're in Florida. It's a cool morning, cool day. So let's... Uh, Let's put it on for safety. Uh, the pitot heat is the instrument that helps us gauge airspeed. And if that's not working correctly, it freezes up, then we don't know our airspeed, which is obviously kind of critical. See here another uh, general aviation aircraft. There's a plane over here. And how long? About oh, 15, 14 minutes to Ormond Beach, VOR. I think we'll go out over the ocean just a little bit more. Let's check. We're still at 2300 or the RPM over here. Climbing a little, I'll just put a little bit of nose down, trim. I wanted to go out of the ocean a little bit more so we see there's a hotel or condo. Don't know. Okay, let's just have a run through the instruments. Fuel is great, TNP. Temperature pressure is great. RPM. Uh, 
our airspeed is fine. We're still going up and down a bit. Sending, descending. That just has to do with trim. Should be getting a push today with the winds from 330. Which is up here. Should be just a bit at our back. Let's see what Daytona actually has for real world weather, which is what we should be getting at 1450. The winds were 310 at 8 knots, 10 statute miles. For visibility, scattered clouds at 3000 and the altimeter 3041. So yeah, looks like we are coming in on 25. Golf course it looks like here. Buildings here. Looks like that plane is coming into land that we were looking at. It is a quick flight down here today from St. Augustine, and because of the tailwinds we got, it would be a quick flight anyway, uh, about 11 and a half minutes until we get to Ormond Beach VOR. We're not going to be passing over the Ormond Beach VOR inland a bit, but we will get this needle centering when we get to 97 radial, 97 degree radial, and then we will actually turn to 97, and I'll climb up to 1500, and by that time we should have this VOR, which is on the ILS, 25 right, that should become active, and we should see whether we are above or below, here's another plane above or below the glide slope. We'll be calling uh, Daytona Beach approach sooner than that, or about that when we start to make our turn. Let's just see if we get anything for the ATIS. Three zero three nine or at the moment we'll check it out as we get closer that altimeter reading nice to have one of those homes down there on the beach bigger condo here, tower. It really is a great plane to fly. I really enjoy the 152. Certainly the mod that JP Logistics have uh, put together has added to the enjoyment. This is one of the planes that uh, You'll probably learn in first, it's a Cessna 152. Maybe the Cessna 172 without the glass cockpit. Waves coming in today. 
causeway over the intercoastal. Don't expect a lot of waves with the winds being from the north. Don't expect that it'd be too wavy as opposed to the winds from the east blowing the water right on shore. And where are we here? Eight minutes to Ormond Beach Fior, 12 nautical miles. Just coming up on a causeway here. It's Highway A1A. It's why highway here, right on the uh, adjacent to the beach, if I recall. Don't quote me, but I think that's what that. That is. Clouds are starting to break, which is very nice. A little sunny out. I need to turn the cabin heat right off. The sun will start to heat up the cockpit. 45, uh, almost getting 48, 50 degrees. We're on an extremely warm day, but let's see jackets on so we're fine if you weren't on our flight departing Daytona up to St. Augustine to get our $100 hamburger uh, when we approach or on our approach to 25 right in Daytona, the Daytona Speedway will be just past the main terminal, the main passenger terminal. Good luck looking at these hotels out here or condos. And we'll be, after we land, we'll be turning to the right, exiting the runway to the right, backtracking. And we'll be parking at the uh, Embray Riddle Aeronautical School, very famous aeronautical school, well attended. And that's where we'll be parking today, and they'll look after our plane until we're ready for our next $100 hamburger flight out of Daytona Beach. Don't know where that will be to. We'll have to decide that. But it will be a short flight. Just enough to wet your whistle for some flying that day. And there we go. We've now picked up the uh, VO, the ILS rather for the runway. Lots of homes down in this area. Dripped a little further out than I wanted to, so have a look at the homes. No need for carb heat 
uh, when, today when we start our descent because there isn't really going to be a, a descent but I think proper procedure dictates it so we will do that Five miles to Ormond Beach, we are, so it's going to be over here somewhere. Book 210, so it is over in this direction. There's a plane there. Let's put this back to 97, 97 degrees. there in a bit. There we go. Turn left a little bit. Curb heat, it's warm enough today. I'm just going to turn the pedo heat off now. I think we're okay. Lots of homes in this area. I think maybe we'll take a picture. See, we're getting closer to Daytona. We're getting more towers here. Pools out in front of these condos or hotels. Since we're flying solo, we didn't have to worry about the mixture today. And leaning it, usually do that 3,000 feet and above, but Obviously, we're at 800 feet now, so there was no need for it. Beautiful clouds. Clear down here to our southwest. Some clouds on the horizon. More clouds still out over here, over the ocean. Another causeway. I think the winds are actually starting to push us out over the ocean, which is why I think, I may be wrong. It's probably just me with left hand on the yoke. I am right-handed, so sometimes it's not the easiest working the mouse, left hand. And here we are, sorry, this. we're on that 97 radial, a little bit past it, it's okay. It's just called ATC. Oh, no, it's not there. Darn, that's not that it matters because we know we are going into. No. One way two five right. Let's increase the throttle. Back over here, 97 a bit more. fine here about 95 92 increase the throttle up to 1500 feet this line is our glide slope we want to have it there so that's pretty good we're looking good let's put our lights on interesting that uh, we're not getting that ATC 
does that sometimes, unfortunately. Just check the weather again. Level off, and now let's turn south. Stay around fifteen hundred feet. This is the airport over here. It's probably right here. They take on the speedway. So this vertical line will start to center and we'll know it's time to turn. Keep that centered. When we get to the glide slope, this horizontal line will start to lower. I'm going to keep them in the crosshairs. I did fix the altimeter to 3041. Excuse me. <coughs> my goodness, my apologies. Took a drink of tea and it went down the wrong way. Nobody out to our left that we can see. Nobody to our right. Quiet day here. Oh, there's a general aviation plane. This is the runway we're going in on right here, so. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it in. Turn our plane in to about here. And you can see our needle is on our VOR1 centering, I've gone past a bit, it's okay. Now there's a lot more people over here, aircraft that we can see. We will, I'll come back to the right. The winds are from our right. Let me just get those winds again. Three three seven at one seven, so it is off of our right, right off of our side, and uh, there we go. Flaps one, pulled the throttle back. You can see here, I've got to start chasing the VOR needles. I did not do a good job of following those in. Part of it was the wind, part of it was me. This is the Daytona Speedway here, and this is Embry-Riddle, right there. Okay, pull the throttle right back. We are way too high. Flaps down.
Here's one of the towers I was mentioning right there. Makes great for, uh, and here's a golf course, great for uh, dead reckoning. A little windy up here. Let's see here that or glide slope needle is coming up. But and I've got my happy lights here I'm watching. Two white, two red. That's exactly where you want to be. The plane over to our left, that is a general aviation plane. We're fine. I'm gonna try to get over here a little bit more. I find that not always do the IOS line up with the Pappy lights, but close enough and good enough for our purposes in Flight Sim. <clears throat> it was the Daytona Speedway just right in front of us. Boy, we're really crabbing in here. When. Um, when we get down to the runway level, we'll have to straighten it out. A little high. Pull back on the throttle. Check the windsock, which is right here. Throttle back. Flare, nose up. Keep watching the end of the runway. There we go. Passenger terminal over here. This is Daytona. Flaps up. Landing lights off, taxi on, strobe off. And we're going to go on near turn right, <clears throat> go east on November. I'm still trying to get all the planes to have their real liveries, such as this is not a real livery. It's supposed to be just a quick and simple download from the Alpha Indian group, but I'm finding some problems with it. Now let's pull up the airport map. It's a great flight. here. Great. November. We're going to come along here to Romeo 1. A little more throttle. Left. Right. Uh, nobody coming in on this runway here. This is the taxiway. Whiskey. And there's the runway. If anybody's coming in, they should be coming in this way, but fine. You never know, so check both ways. Trans Transponder to standby. planes here from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical School. This is it right here.
do have special permission from the school to park here. Normally you would not be parking here, this is just their school. And Marshall's to the left, so we'll see if that's where we're supposed to go. It's where we're going to go anyway. Yep, she's got us there. Turn the taxi light off so we don't uh, blind her with the with the light. And there we go. Parking brake. Pull. We are set there. Lights off, beacon, panel, turn that one off, and I can do it two ways. Pull the mixture back. There we go. Ignition off. And battery off. Get those doors open. And let's step out. Well, that was a great flight. A uh, great way to end the first $100 hamburger flight out of Daytona Beach. I said, I don't know where we'll be going next. I'll have to do some planning on that. Uh, but that certainly was a fantastic flight. Thanks for joining me. And until next time on Flight Dreams, may you have three green, blue skies, and the wind at your back.